Mahabharata is an interesting conversation between Kunti and Pandu where we are told of a time in history where there was no concept of marriage. Men went to women and women went to men as per their pleasure. Until one day a young sage called Shvetaketu discovers his mother in the arms of another man and complains to his father and the father seems to have no problem with it and says women are free to go wherever they please. And Shvetaketu doesn't like this answer and institutes the idea of marriage in order to establish paternity. Uh, so, it, the origin of marriage is clearly traced to men and women wanting to know who their father is and in other words paternity and fidelity is attached to the same concept and the concept of niyog comes there. The niyog is if a man is uh, sterile and not capable of giving a woman a child, he allows her to go to a ma another man either of his choice or her choice. Now these concepts are described in the Mahabharata because Mahabharata deals with paternity, inheritance, property and thus we realize that the location, the marriage is located in the Hindu tradition in the patriarchal structures of uh, property um, and to deal with um, inheritance. Uh, in fact the earliest marriage that is described in the Atharva Veda is of Surya with the Ashwin Kumaras and the Ashwins as you know are two brothers so it's basically a marriage of a, sing of a woman with two men or two gods. Now you can see twin gods are metaphorical about uh, husbands who have split personalities but that's up to you.